What is up guys, I am the one and only Eagle Double T, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Nintendo Wii to the Nintendo 64. So without further ado, let's begin. Round 1, Controller. Now, both of these controllers are very innovative. The N64 controller was one of the first controllers to use a joystick, and the Wii Remote has the iconic motion controls. The N64 controller has a very, very odd but comfortable design. It has, you know, the three handles. It has a start button, a very nice, high-quality Nintendo D-pad, AB buttons, useless, pretty much useless C buttons, triggers, three triggers, the memory card actually goes right into the controller like that, which I think is pretty nice. And then it has a joystick, and even though the joystick really isn't that good, it was one of the first controllers to use a joystick. Now, the Wii Remote is one of the most unique controllers ever. Along with having the iconic motion controls, it has a speaker, player indicator on the bottom. You can use it like an NES controller by holding it sideways. And you can also plug in a nunchuck into the controller, and this will give you... Two more additional buttons on the back, and a joystick, so you could play games like Call of Duty, for example. Because the Wii Remote is so innovative and unique, the Wii is going to take round one. Round two, graphical power. Now, for this round, I'm going to compare the console to the other consoles in its generation. So the N64 is going to be compared to the PlayStation and Sega Saturn, and the Wii will be compared to the... Xbox 360 and the PS3. So let's start with the N64. Now the N64 by far was the most powerful console of its generation. It was a 64-bit and the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation were 32-bit. So it was over it had twice the graphical power of the PlayStation and the Saturn. Not only that, but it also had a far superior CPU. It could have up to, with the memory expansion, up to 8 megabytes of RAM, which at the time was huge. Even though it was limited by the cartridges that it used, it was still a very, very powerful console, especially for its time. The Wii, on the other hand, was majorly lacking in the graphics department when it launched in 2007. The CPU and graphical power was far weaker than the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Even though it had a few nice looking games and could run the backwards compatible GameCube games nicely, it was very very weak for its generation. The Wii was a lot weaker than its competitors, but the N64 was far more powerful. So the N64 is going to take round 2. Round 3. Games. Now, both of these consoles had some amazing games. So let's start off with the N64. Super Mario 64. The 007 games. Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart 64. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Star Fox 64, along with tons of other great racing games such as Beetle Adventure Racing and Top Gear Rally. Moving on to the Wii. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario All-Stars, Kirby's Dream Collection, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports Resorts, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, tons of Sonic games, X-Men Origins Wolverine. So both of these consoles had some absolutely fantastic games. Both systems had some absolutely fantastic games, so I'm going to call it a tie. And with a score of 2-2, two to two, I would say these consoles are about equal. I, I'm going to call it a tie because both of these consoles are very amazing and unique in their own ways. Um, I'd like to apologize for not uploading so much lately. Um, you know, school has started and stuff for basketball has started, like weightlifting and open gym. So I really don't have as many opportunities to make videos. And feel free to comment suggestions for future videos down below. Because it is kind of hard to make a video when I can't think of anything. But thank you so, so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. 
comment suggestions and which console you think is better. And don't forget to subscribe. I am the one and only Eagle Double T signing off. Goodbye.